Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Heroes content. In today's video, we're going to talk about Dorka, her hero profile, stats, strengths and weaknesses, her skills, playability, recommended guardian stones, synergy with other heroes, her overall rating, and my final thoughts. But before that, if you want to see more EXO Heroes content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Here we are at Dorka's profile. So Dorka hails from the nation Brun. Her element is machine and position is chaos and attack type is physical. Dorka is a bit kind on the young side for H29 as well. As for Dorka's stats, she has above average attack, she has high hit, she has high dodge, high attack speed. Her weaknesses are she has low HP, low defense, low block, below average critical hit. So, to sum it up, Dorka is a very fast attacker. She doesn't deal that much damage, uh, but she gives a lot of status effects to, you, to the enemies. She is also squishy, so she needs uh, share health and provoke from, from her team as well. But on the flip side, she does have a good healing um, when it comes to survivability. So let's discuss her skills. So Dorka stands out because of her passive, because of Soul Bond. So grants allies with less attack than self with Soul Bond, mark and heals 30% of missing health every turn. Reduces magic damage taken by 30%. So as per my experience with Dorka um, when, when I'm playing PvP, she is very hard to kill um, if uh, equipped or or she, if she's in a group of uh, heroes that protects her, um, I've seen I've seen a team with Garf and uh, what else and um, Annie FC Annie. It's really hard to kill her. So and also Soul Bond keeps her alive as well and as well as her team. So this skill is uh, a very good utility skill. It um, makes your team better. It gives you an overall um, overall survivability. And um, let's look at her S1. So her S1, it uh, deals 53% damage to all enemies. Flicks target with bleed, dealing 39% damage every turn for two turns. This is actually a very good utility spell, especially with her speed because she gets to, to deal damage first. And um, she gets to put bleed as soon as possible. Then let's move on to her S2. So her S2 is 367% piercing damage to an enemy. This is a very good finishing skill because pierce ignores your defense. Um, it uh, gives you a little bit of oomph in terms of uh, your damage. And um, for me, I think Dorka's skills as a cha chaos hero and as a... She's a support for me. Um, she is more valued as a support. She is more valued as a healer. And um, she is more valued as a disruptor in terms of your offense. She won't give you the, the, the really big kills, but she will assist um, all of your team members in your team and by the way guys don't forget to subscribe and click the subscribe button down below so as for Dorka's playability she is um, very good in uh, as your main um, hero in PvP and she is also good in your tag teams for PvP I've seen Dorka again in some of my pvp matches and she is very tanky as long as you put the right you know the right heroes around her um the one team that i've seen was um shufraken garf annie bathory and the other one is i think iris so it's a very tanky team that um protects her that much and she also helps her team to gain that much health as for pvp so she is i don't really have a lot of complaints about 
um, where to put her, where to play her. She plays well in your chapters. She plays well in your squadron battle. She plays well in your U Pierce Labyrinth as well. And most especially, she is wonderful in the Holy Dragon Grounds because of her passive, soul bond, and grace of mana. So imagine your Holy Dra Dragon Grounds team being given mana and is being continually healed every time. So Dorka for her recommended Guardian Stones, I would only recommend two colors for this one. So the first one would be Frost, um, so that you'll be given a block, additional block for equipment set effect. But for Awaken, you'll be able to increase her defense. But my preference is really red because she already has a damage reduction um, of 30% for magical attacks. So why not give her additional damage reduction? So anyway, if you set her as equip set effects for fire, you'll be giving her additional damage reduction. But for the Awakened set effect, you'll be giving her additional HP. So these are the two sets that I would recommend for her kit. So as you've seen in my screen, guys, so in terms of synergy with, with other heroes, I would recommend building your Dorka around these characters if you have them. Um, I've seen this team in battle and this makes her pretty much tanky enough to survive and for her for her team to deal a significant amount of damage. So again, to summarize, um, Dorka needs heroes with Provoke. Uh, she needs to have uh, a teammate with Provoke to lure attacks from her. The other type of hero she is good with is sharing health, um, particularly Garf. Or if you have other heroes that share health, uh, I think you could also use Naomi for this one. Share health is very important for her as well. And the other one is if you have heroes who have um, or who can increase her HP or defense, that would be good as well. And she works well with high damage AOE or single target damage attackers because she will act as your sweeper she will act as your um, your last line of offense in terms of finishing off what is left of the opposing team so again for synergy with other heroes she works best with basically defenders defenders sharing health provoking that is her bread and butter in terms of survivability in our current meta my overall rating of Dorka, um, this is a rating out of 5, so 5 being the highest. So we'll start off with her stats. So her stats, out of 5, I think she deserves a 4. Mainly because she has very extreme high stats. Um, especially her attack, her high hit, high dodge, and high attack speed. So even though she has, she also has extremely uh, low stats, which is low HP, low defense, low block, and low average critical hit. Um, her weakness actually, or her low stats, can be augmented again by the team that she or you surround her with. So you have to make sure that you mask out her weaknesses and it can be done. I've seen it done. So that is why I'm giving her a 4 um, because she helps your team a lot. She makes your team better and um, she, she is very versatile. Um, that is what I like about her kit. With uh, our number 2 rating, I would rate her playability at a 4 because she can be played in almost any content of the game. Um, I don't see any drawback in using her in any in in some of the content, but I think she's an all-around character which helps you a lot in all the content. The last rating that we'll have is synergy. So her synergy, I would rate her as a four. So she complements other here as well. That's it. She is a she is a uh, she makes other here survive well she makes herself survive well she gives mana 
she disrupts the offense sorry she 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 disrupts the the defenders of the other team so i would give her a four for this one so whenever she gets her fc i'm sure she'll be one of the best heroes in exo heroes um for now she's already very good but i'm sure once she has her fc she'll be god tier so last my final thoughts so again she is a very well-rounded character you cannot go wrong with her um she uh she has very good hero support with her passive skills the next is you can ho she can hold her own with with little help um she needs more help for survivability but on her own she can survive pretty much well um next would be she can complement her team well complement their skills complement um, the offense especially and um, you can put out any team with her um i have tested her out with high offense teams she can actually still hold her own and what i like about her is she has very fast attack speed um in terms of stats she has higher speed than rara but rara has a has a passive to have to increase more of her speed that is why rara is still at number one and she's not number two so anyway guys that is my take on dorka i just got her recently about two days ago i hope to test her more out in terms of um pvp because i think she will shine there the most so that concludes my video let me know what you think um is this is this take on dorka worth it is it do you agree with it do you disagree with it what do you think are the things that i left out in this video and again guys you all stay safe and i'll see you in the next video warden out